Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and my greeting from Cambodia. It is my pleasure and honor to be with you today and to present you the project Building Capacity for Indigenous Youth and Establishing Indigenous Audiovisual Archive through Wikimedia Tool in Cambodia, which has been funded by Wikimedia Foundations. To start this, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to Wikimedia Foundation and the team for the generous support and make this project happen. My thanks also go to our partners, UNESCO Bangkok and the team, Memory of the World for Asia Pacific, MOOCAPS, Ministry of Culture and Fine Art of Cambodia, and many others that I cannot record their names. With funding support from Wikimedia Foundations, this project aims to use Wikimedia tool and platform to build an open access indigenous audiovisual archive to preserve, protect, and revitalize the indigenous languages in Cambodia. And this project also perfectly celebrates the International Decade of Indigenous Languages of 2022-2032, which was declared by United Nations General Assembly as the International Decade of Indigenous Languages to draw attention to critical status of many indigenous languages across the world and encourage actions for preservation, revitalization, and promotions. In July last year, 2021, our project started and we selected 30 youth. 16 of them were women from five indigenous communities, including Tampuan, Jarai, Krung, Kajak, and Prov, to join a documentary film training program, which took place in their home community of Ratanakiri province, which is the northeastern province of Cambodia. After intensive trainings, indigenous youth started to document their community on a variety of topics, including arts, environmental issues, cultural practice, spiritual belief, relationship between indigenous community and natures, the recording are in their own languages. I think that the film you watch today will nicely discuss the cultural practice or art of making wine of the Tempuan ethnic minority. However, and sadly, this art of making wine almost disappeared from everyday life of the indigenous community because of many internal and external factors. It was a fortunate that our trainee, Ramit Moon, was able to document this art, which is practiced by his own family. Only his mother in the community know how to make this original and traditional method of making just fine. As the result of the projects, 25 short documentary film and more than 10 pieces of audiovisual record were made in five different languages. And last month, in February, with support from Wikimedia team, Sadib Jill, especially, Bopana Center and UNESCO invited you to come to Phnom Penh and train them on how to use Wikimedia tool to disseminate their films. Some of you found it first time to be in Phnom Penh, and they made some visit to National Museum and to the other cultural site in Phnom Penh. After the training, they uploaded their film successfully and happily on Wikimedia Commons platform. This film now become great learning and teaching resources for researcher, cultural activists, scholar, filmmaker, or those who are interested in the content. Recently, some of this short film has been selected to showcase in the local cultural festival taking place in Phnom Penh, and also followed by great discussion with filmmakers and audiences. Last week, UNESCO Cambodia and Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts also selected a film to screen for 150 audiences, including indigenous community from other parts of the country, UNESCO staff and local authority, and other officials from Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts. We will also continue to disseminate this content to wider audiences. Even we made great success and satisfactory with the outcome of the project. We really went through the main challenges, including natural disasters and the spread of COVID-19. In November last year, 
there was a heavy rainstorm in Ratanakiri where our training and film production took place. Some roads were flooded, some land bridges were broken, and some roads were slippery. Travel connection from one place to another was cut so that our students had difficulty and causing some delay of their work. The temperature over there went up and down, causing some health issue. And I think that this is the negative impact of the climate change on our life. Our next plan is that we would like to continue this project, supporting other indigenous youth to document their community, since some arts and cultural practice and livelihood are critically threatened of being endangered. Some form of art and culture practice will disappear soon. It is urgent to document them before they are gone. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Wikimedia Foundation and the team for the support.